I got one thing on your mind today. Who's sniffing my nutsack? That's it. When you shit outside, it's not going to be a decent shit. Yeah. It's going to be like explosive. Like uh. <laughs> so when I got up, it looks like somebody got shot in the head. I don't know if I'm going to shit myself or fart, but let me just take a chance. Just letting you know, I'll be doing some videos explaining podcast news, podcast like information about certain people on podcasts every now and then. My last one was a video about Joe Rogan and how people were trying to censor Joe Rogan, but this one's going to be about a friend of Joe Rogan, uh, Joey Diaz. So, um, you know, Joey Diaz kind of made the move from LA back to Jersey, where he took a break from his podcast, The Church of What's Happening Now. Now, this podcast is, um, it was just done in LA where. Joey Diaz used to live, but he would interview other people on the show, mainly comedians and actors and friends of his. You know, like Theo Vaughn is a comedian he did, but like he also did the John Bernthal guy who did, uh, you know, The Punisher. So sometimes um, Joey would have excellent solo episodes where he would give us a report of how he's doing and talk about what's happening in the world every now and then, tell a couple wise stories. Um, but it was very, it was very cool podcast, very like uncensored cool old geezer story so if i were to describe joey diaz he's like an old geezer who has a lot of old stories to tell which are some wild stories about how you know he was an ex-cocaine dealer ex you know he used to rob people and stuff he's a very bad criminal but he also the main good part about his podcast is that he shows how a complete scumbag can come can become like a great person and great comedian so you know joey diaz is very inspired inspiring person to many but, you know, after this podcast ended, it was a very weird time for us fans. But he did. Uh, he does have a lot of content coming through his Patreon and some audio books that he's um, putting on his YouTube channel that he does. And he has this very, like, crisp, buttery voice, <laughs> if I were to describe him. So let's talk about his new podcast that he started up off, and it's called um, Uncle Joey's Joint. Now, um, you know, there's a, it's a solo show. There's two episodes uh, so far. And... Um, there's no guest on the show, but maybe sometime there will be a guest, uh, is what he said. So this show is just kind of like, um, it's just like him talking about uh, albums of music he likes, his uh, his life experiences, moving, going to like funerals for his family members and stuff, his diet, how he's doing. And he's just a very interesting figure, but the, there is an absence on this show, and that is the sort of Jamie type of guy, uh, Lee Syatt. And he kind of organizes the show, fact checks, pops in. Uh, kind of half co-host, half tech guy, and he is uh, not really a part of this new show since he's still since he stayed in uh, L.A. But the first episode, Joey tells the viewers it was time to stop the original church show and start new. And Joey kind of like is very with his family right now, and um, it's just an example example of the creator exodus of creators leaving L.A. Uh, Joe Rogan moved to Texas away from L.A. Duncan Trussell, the podcast host, uh, moved um, and comedian, moved to North Carolina, and the, there's this mass exodus of creators leaving L.A. Um, you know, even The Weeknd had a song called "Escape from L.A.", and uh, Post Malone had a song called "Hollywood's Bleeding." Like Post Malone moved to Utah, he also talked about that on Joe Rogan. So, um, what? is a cool thing that Duncan Trussell and Joe Rogan said, which um, I'm bringing them in the scenario because they're friends with Joey Diaz. They said that once people realize that you don't need companies in huge cities to create, there will be a cultural and artistic renaissance. And that's for truly what is happening now. And, you know, with a lot of movies being filmed in Atlanta and, uh, you know, the Texas area and Louisiana, um, I, I just want to let you know that I am Mike Hess talking to you from Delaware, not corporately owned. And I'm just saying that seeing Joey Diaz do this it just sees that he is staying true to himself. So I want you, anybody listening or watching this video, to stay true to yourself, just like Joey Diaz, Joe Rogan, and Duncan Trussell. See ya. Fuck you and fucking Facebook. Fuck you and social media. It's all about you, you dumb motherfucker. Get up, grab your balls, hug your wife, kiss the kid, pick up the fucking dog. Stop it. Stop it. It's not all Obama's fault. You don't want a bowler? Take your vitamin C, you dumb motherfucker. You don't want ISIS to fuck with you? Stay in New Jersey! But stop your fucking crying! You're a fucking American, you fucking douchebag! Start acting like it!